For this quiz on Wednesday, I want to show you how I make a problem and how I unmake a problem, you know, solve it. So I'm going to start off, I know that I want a fourth degree function and I want there to be two real and two imaginary solutions. So I just need to pick some real and then some complex solution. So let's just say I want my real solutions to be, um, oh, I don't know, 2 and negative 1. Then the complex solutions could be, um, well, I guess they need to be complex conjugates. So let's do um, minus 3i and plus 3i. So those could be four different zeros. And if I turn them into factors, 2 becomes x minus 2. 1 becomes x plus 1, um, sorry, negative 1 becomes x plus 1, negative 3i becomes x plus 3i, and 3i becomes x minus 3i. So these will be the four factors of a fourth degree polynomial that has those four zeros. So to turn this into one polynomial, I just need to FOIL this, FOIL that, and then uh, put their products together. So x squared x1 uh, minus 2, so that's minus x and then minus 2. This one will be x squared minus 3ix plus 3ix and then um, plus 9. Okay, so now to put those two together, I'm just going to put them in this grid. x squared plus 9, x squared minus x minus 2. Okay, so this is x to the fourth, uh, minus x cubed, minus 2x squared. Here's 9x squared, um, minus 9x, and then uh, minus 18. So those two are both squares, um, and they'll go together. So I've got x to the fourth, minus x to the third, um, 9 minus 2, that's plus 7x squared, minus 9x minus 18. Okay, so this is going to be a fourth degree polynomial with those factors and those zeros. So on the next page I'm going to start with that problem and show how it would be solved and we can compare the solution to how the problem is generated. The problem was out of focus x to the fourth minus x cubed plus 7x squared minus 9x minus 18. Okay, and the way that these problems always get solved is you've got to start with rational zeros. So let's see, negative 18 factors are plus or minus 1, plus or minus 2, plus or minus 3, plus or minus 6, plus or minus 18. Oh, plus or minus 9. Can't forget about plus or minus 9. So um, that's a bunch of options. The coefficient of this is 1, so it's just plus or minus 1. So really, those are all the options there, all 12 of them. OK, well, as always, start small so you can save yourself some trouble later. So let's try positive 1. I already know this won't work. I'm just doing it for demonstration purposes putting positive 1 in the place of x. We've got 1 to the 4th minus 1 cubed plus 7 times 1 squared minus 9 times 1 minus 18. And it looks like I've got 8 minus 28. So this is not equal to 0. Let's try negative 1 instead. Negative 1 to the 4th minus negative 1 cubed plus 7 of negative 1 squared minus 9 of negative 1 minus 18. Okay, this time negative 1 to the 4th is 1. Negative 1 cubed is still negative, so this is minus negative 1 plus 7 minus negative 9, that would be plus 9, and now minus 18. Well, this is 10 and 8, so this is all 18. 18 minus 18, that is equal to 0. So negative 1 is a 0. 
Therefore, x plus 1 is a factor. Okay. Now, just looking at how I made the problem, I already knew x plus 1 was going to be a factor, but here's how I'm able to find that. So knowing that x plus 1 is a factor, I can start a new page and do some division. So I know that I can divide x to the fourth minus x cubed plus 7x squared minus 9x minus 18. I know I can divide that by x plus 1 because negative 1 was known to be a 0, so x plus 1 is a factor. So x goes into the x to the fourth x cubed times x cubed times x plus 1 is x to the fourth plus x cubed. Subtracting that, negative x cubed minus x cubed is minus 2x cubed. Okay, bring down plus 7x squared. x goes into negative 2x cubed, negative 2x squared times negative 2x squared times x plus 1 is negative 2x cubed minus 2x squared. Subtracting that, I've got 0 and 7 minus negative 2, that would be 9x squared. Bring down minus 9x, and I've got x going into 9x squared 9x times. 9x times x is 9x squared. 9x times 1 is 9x. Negative 9 minus 9 is negative 18x. All right, bring down that minus 18. And just perfect. x goes into negative 18x negative 18 times. Negative 18 times x plus 1 is negative 18x minus 18 there is nothing left. So, knowing that x to the fourth minus x cubed plus 7x squared minus 9x minus 18 has negative 1 as a 0 and x plus 1 as a factor means it can be written as x plus 1, remember that's the factor that carries the 0 of negative 1. times this cubic function that we just got. And now we can just start again with this one. So I could go through the steps of guessing uh, plus and minus 2, plus and minus 3, plus and minus 6, but since I already know that the answer is 2, I'm just going to pretend that I found it right away look here, um, 2 cubed minus uh, 2 times 2 squared plus 9 of 2 minus 18, 2 cubed is 8, 2 times 2 squared is 8, 9 times 2 is 18, yeah, that's 0. So 2 is a 0 x minus 2 is a factor. Again, I have to repeat, I already knew it would be a 0, and I already knew that would be a factor. This is just what it looks like when you're solving it. So knowing that x minus 2 is a factor means I can do the division. Here's the cubic. Divide by, the factor was x minus 2. This should give me a quadratic when I'm done. x goes in x cubed x squared times x squared times x minus 2 is x cubed minus 2x squared. Minus 2 minus minus 2 is well, 0. 
Okay, so bring down plus 9x minus 18. x goes into 9x nine times. 9 times x minus 2 is 9x minus 18. Perfect. So we got x squared plus 9. Okay, so our original function, x to the fourth minus x to the, key, uh, x to the third plus 7x squared minus 9x minus 18. When we discovered that um, negative 1 was a 0, and we knew that x plus 1 must be a factor, then the remainder, or I should say the remainder, the quotient was that. Now when we looked into this, we discovered that 2 was a 0, meaning that x minus 2 is a factor. And now we have that left. So we know that negative 1 is a 0, positive 2 is a 0. What zeros will we get from there? x squared plus 9. Well, it can't be factored, so we're going to have to use a quadratic formula. So a is equal to 1, b is equal to 0, c is equal to 9. The quadratic formula is like this. A. So substituting in there, opposite of b, well, that would just be 0, so I've got plus or minus square root of 0 squared minus 4ac. 4ac, that would be 4 times 9, which is 36. 2a, well, a is 1, so that's just 2. Now the square root of negative 36 is equal to 6i. So we've got plus or minus 6i over 2. 6 over 2 cancels out, and so what we have left is plus or minus 3i. So our zeros are negative 1, 2, 3i, and negative 3i which takes us all the way back to the beginning, where I wanted to make a polynomial with zeros 2, negative 1, negative 3i, and positive 3i, which gives you the factors here, x minus 2, x plus 1, x plus 3i, x minus 3i. When you FOIL these, when you put it all together, you get this fourth power function, and under investigation, you can find it has the zeros negative 1, which gives you that factor, 2, which gives you that factor, and what's left using the quadratic formula you can find contains the remaining zeros, 3i and negative 3i. And that's how it's done.